Hello there, we recently introduced scheduled pipelines in Circle CI. This is a new feature that lets you run pipelines on a recurring basis. For example, hourly, daily, weekly, or anything in between. Scheduled pipelines will replace the scheduled workflows. If you've been using Circle CI for some time, it's likely that you have encountered those. My name is Zen Markin, and I'm a developer advocate at Circle CI. And in this video, I'll explain how scheduled pipelines work, some of their cool use cases, and of course, show you how you can get started with scheduled pipelines. We'll be using both the API and the UI, as well as set up scheduled pipelines from scratch or migrate from scheduled workflows. If that sounds good, let's continue. There are many reasons why you'd like to schedule CI-CD work, so it doesn't just execute when you push code to a repository. The first reason is for regular builds of software. Often when working with teams outside development, such as product managers, QA engineers, and other stakeholders, we want them to be able to always access the latest build of software that we're working on. In addition to having the latest working versions of software always available, you can also have it run the entire test suite, including any expensive and long running functional and UI tests or integration tests you might not run on every commit. So a nightly build will also automatically verify your software works so that the result is waiting for you when you start your next working day. And of course, it doesn't need to be nightly. It can run at a different cadence, like every few hours or even multiple times per hour. The ability to schedule work isn't exactly new to CircleCI. Using scheduled workflows, developers have been able to achieve that work for a long time. The way scheduled workflows worked is that all scheduling were part of the configuration, with schedule defines using cron syntax and working on the workflow level as the name suggests. These are some of the things that are much improved with the new scheduled pipelines. As you might expect, we now schedule entire pipelines, including any pipeline parameters we wish to pass in. As scheduling is done outside of the configuration file, we're able to query and set schedules using both the API and the UI, which allows more flexibility with who manages the schedules and execution. Finally, scheduling now supports using contexts and with them fine-grained access control to who can perform and schedule certain jobs. You can gate your deployment credentials to only the engineers with sufficient permissions and no one else can set up those schedules. They can also be used in conjunction with dynamic configuration, which unlocks even more possibilities for your CI-CD setup. Now that we've covered some basic facts about scheduled pipelines, let's see how we can implement one in action. First, we need a pipeline that needs scheduling. I have one here that has used the old scheduled workflows in the past. There's an open source library project which runs nightly deployments to Maven uh, Snapshots repository. So this is really ideal for scheduling use cases. For our schedule, we just need to run a build every night and deploy to a Snapshots repository. So anyone can get it and check out the freshest code. To get started with the API, we first need the API key, which we get by going to your user setting and find personal API tokens on the left and hit create new token. Give it a name and you'll have a new token right here. I have my schedule API here that we're already using. Cool. So now that we have our token and we have our project which with a config that's building on Circle CI, all we need is to make some API calls. I have a set of scripts, uh, Node.js scripts in this build scheduling directory in the project. We'll be looking at the setup nightly build. Um, we also need to keep in mind the environment variables we are working with. So CircleCI token is the one 
you uh, have hopefully copied. Project ID is the name of your project. VCS type is GitHub in our case, because that's where the project is. And org name could be your username or your actual organization name. And our setup nightly build script will, um, will construct the endpoint with these. So API v2 project of circle CI, and then uh, GitHub org. So it's Markin in my case, and Android espresso scrollable scroll slash schedule. That's the endpoint we need to use to create new schedules. To do that, we need to issue a post request with the headers, which contain circle token, which is our token, and uh, a few body parameters. First, you need a name. Uh, this is unique for this project schedule, so only one nightly build can exist. Description is optional, but very useful regardless. Attribution actor um, lets you define who this is kind of executing as. System is similar behavior to scheduled workflows, but you can also specify a user which will actually use your user token. And uh, you can then also have your workflow use contexts in those jobs. Parameters, um, branch is um, defined like which branch you want to run. Um, you can also use tag here and uh, any other pipeline variables you wish to set. So in our case, that's run schedule, the one that we've covered earlier. Timetable is the last part of the puzzle, which is where I actually define how often and when to run our schedule. So once per hour at 1 a.m., this is UTC on the following days of week. Uh, we're just doing five days, so after the working day. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So setting this up and running this as uh, NPM run set up nightly build will set you up with a new schedule. Um, I also have a couple of more uh, scripts here, delete schedule and get schedules. The names are quite obvious, but yeah, that's how you use the scheduling API for scheduled pipelines. So for how to set up a new scheduled trigger in the UI, you need to be on the project uh, page. So looking at a project in the UI, select project settings, find the new triggers tab on the left hand side and select add schedule trigger. This takes you to a form which takes exactly the same parameters as uh, the API. So let's give it a name. a description and then select all of the days you want to run the time how many times per hour which branch we're talking about any pipeline parameters and of course who do you want to run this trigger as clicking save trigger will set it up and that is all you need to do to set up a new scheduled trigger for a pipeline in the UI. Now that we've seen how to set up the pipelines and review them using both the API and the GUI, let's look at how to migrate scheduled workflows to scheduled pipelines. This is an example of a config file containing a scheduled workflow. It's the same project, just older commit from the history. And you'll see that in our nightly snapshot uh, workflow, we have a triggers statement where we pass in a schedule, which is in our case, a cron expression. So zero minutes past zero hour past midnight every single day on the main branch. So that's how scheduled workflows used to be defined. To start migrating this, if we've got 
two workflows, and we do, best thing to do is to use a pipeline parameter, like our run schedule, which we introduced earlier. So this is the current state of the project. So where we use a when statement here to only run when this is true. And you also need to add a when not uh, to our to your other workflow. So build test deploy uh, needs a when not just because we don't want to run that one on schedule. This is all you need to do in the config file. Everything else is done through either the API or the GUI. Uh, you just need to remember, yeah, this what this cron expression was. So you want to run it at midnight or you want to run it at 1 a.m. Doesn't really matter and which branch to run them on. And then, yeah, specify which hours of day, how many times per hour, days of weeks. Um, yeah, and that's all you need to do in order to migrate. Scheduled pipelines allow you to not only set up your pipelines to trigger on a recurring basis, but allow passing them pipeline parameters and for much finer control of who gets to set up pipelines and what permissions they are associated with when they run using CircleCI's context. This makes for a very versatile component in your CI CD toolkit. Let us know how you fare with scheduled pipelines and if you'd like to see any additions to the UI or API features.